Harry had always known that Hagrid had an unfortunate liking for large, monstrous creatures. But he was equally certain that Hagrid would never mean to kill anybody. Riddle might have got the wrong person. Maybe some other monster was attacking people. How many monsters do you think this place can hold? We always knew Hagrid was expelled, and the attacks must have stopped then. Otherwise, Riddle wouldn't have got his award. Riddle's diary! It's gone! What? But only a Gryffindor could have stolen it. Nobody else knows our password. Exactly. Kill this I just heard it again. Didn't you? I didn't hear anything. Harry, I think I've just understood something. I've got to go to the library. But McGonagall said we have to stay in here unless we're in class. And I've got to talk to Hagrid. If he set the monster loose last time, he knows how to get inside the Chamber of Secrets. Hagrid's hut is out in the grounds, Harry. But you know that. Follow me, Harry. someone who looks very much like Lucius Malfoy coming into Hagrid's heart. Bad business, Hagrid. A very bad business indeed. Things have gone far enough. As chairman of the school governors, I've simply got to act and send you away. Away? Away to where? Not the wizard prison. Not Azkaban. I'm afraid so. A dreadful thing, Dumbledore. But all twelve of the governors feel it's time for you to step aside. As of this moment, you are suspended as headmaster of Hogwarts. If the governors want my removal, Lucius, I shall, of course, step aside. No! However, you will find that I will only truly have left this school when none here are loyal to me. You will also find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. Of course, if anyone wanted to find out some stuff, all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. That'd lead them, right? That's the key to the whole thing. And that's all I'm saying. Come along now, Hagrid. All right, I'm coming. We're in trouble now. Oh, Dumbledore. There'll be an attack a day with him gone. Look! Over there! Looks like they're heading for the Forbidden Forest. This ledge is too high to climb. I'll give you a leg up, Harry. You'd have to brave the Forbidden Forest alone. Good luck, Harry! Oh. Uh. Dip. <laughs> 
spawn. Defendo! 
Is it Hagrid? No, I'm a friend of Hagrid's. I came to help him. Why does Hagrid need help? Some say that Hagrid released a monster long ago in Hogwarts. It killed someone and it must have come back. It was me he released, but he sent me away. I've never gone back, and I've never heard anyone in Hogwarts. So you're not the guardian of the Chamber of Secrets? No, the Guardian is an ancient creature that spiders fear above all others. It killed a girl in the bathroom, not I. Thank you. I think I should go now. No, you won't. I cannot deny my children such fresh meat. Goodbye, friend of Hagrid. If I cut those support webs with Defindo, I bet Aragog will fall into the pit. Bite him, my children! Rictus Emperor! Rictus Emperor! Rictus Emperor! Rictus Emperor! I learned something from Lockhart's class. Rictus Emperor. Amazing work, Harry. And look, I found that car. But Hermione has been attacked. She's been petrified like the others. Oh no! We should get back as soon as possible. Climb in! i better not let Madame Pomfrey see me. There's Hermione. What's that she's holding? It's a note. In her handwriting. Here's what it says. Of the many fearsome beasts and monsters that roam our land, there is none more deadly than the basilisk, the king of serpents. This snake, which may reach gigantic size and live hundreds of years, is born from a chicken's egg, hatched beneath a toad. Aside from its deadly and venomous fangs, the basilisk has a horrible stare, and all who are fixed with the beam of its eye shall suffer instant death. Spiders flee from the basilisk, for it is their mortal enemy. The basilisk flees only from the crowing of the rooster, which is fatal to it. But how's the basilisk been getting around the place? A giant snake! Someone would have seen! Pipes, Ron! It's been using the plumbing! I've been hearing that voice inside the walls. That girl who died. Aragog said she was found in a bathroom. What if she never left the bathroom? What if she's still there? You don't think. Not moaning myrtle. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. 
What if it's in Mining, Mining Myrtle's, Myrtle's bathroom. bathroom? All students are to return to their house dormitories at once. All teachers return to the staff room immediately, please. Oh no! Not another attack! Yes, there had been another attack. The worst one yet. This time, someone had disappeared. It was Ginny Weasley, and another message was left on the wall. It said, her skeleton will lie in the chamber forever. Hogwarts would surely close now. Professor Lockhart had been given the task of rescuing Ginny, but Ron and Harry were beside themselves with worry. They had to do something. Hurry, Harry! We have to save Ginny! We need to have a plan. I'll go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom and try to find the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. And I'll go find Lockhart. It wouldn't surprise me if he was trying to sneak out of Hogwarts. ask you how you died. You're the first one who ever asked. I died in this very storm. I remember it so well. The door was locked and I was crying because Olive Hornby had teased me about my glasses. Then I heard somebody come in. They said something odd in a different language, I think. It was a boy speaking. So I unlocked the door to tell him to go and use his own bathroom. And then I died. Where was this boy standing? Over there by the sinks. One of them has never worked. Not as long as I've been here. I wonder if that's where the entrance to the chamber is. Open! Open! That's not working. Maybe if I try parcel tongue. Open! That's got it. Got him. He was packed and ready to go. What's that? I think it's the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. Well, then, you won't be needing me. Cheers, boys. Have to go warm up my broom. You're not through yet. <sighs> Down you go. No! Come on, Harry. This is it. I know. Hurry up, Harry. Every second counts. 